the term fast fashion is popping up more on social media and online. It's cheap, it's trendy clothing, and it's being pushed out on the market as fast as possible, but often gets discarded as soon as it's no longer popular. So concerns are being raised about the harm it's causing the environment and the workers being exploited overseas. However, sustainable fashion, as we know, can be expensive. So we brought in Kat Burton, the creative arts manager at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh. And Kat has some tips on how to keep you from breaking the bank, but being responsible when we're shopping. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. today. Thank so you. I think, first of all, what is fast fashion and how do we spot it when we see it? Yeah, so fast fashion is usually based on trend. Yeah. Um, a lot of the time, the brands that you're buying from are um, turning out clothing based off of what they see um, is trending in the fashion industry. Um, it's not so much based in um, individual style. Um, it's, um, it's creating something that isn't sustainable, essentially. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, you walk into some of these stores and they're packed with clothes. Yes. And you think, like, how, what are they going to do with all of this when you no longer need yeah. those sweaters or those yeah. jeans? Right. Um, what are some tips for buying secondhand clothing? Because I know that there are some thrift shops and things like that, but some people aren't, they haven't dived into that yet. Yeah. So they don't know how to start. Right, right. Um, I think it's all about finding your own individual style. Um, and a lot of people who don't know what that is um, could benefit from stylists. There's a lot of stylists in the city um, that do great work. They do amazing work. Um, and they can go in and help kind of become a personal shopper for you. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the times they'll, um, they'll work with you. They'll find um, what you what you are comfortable in, what you're able to wear, and they're able they're able to find you pieces that will be long lasting. So you know we were talking about this in the newsroom too, and I I think for so many people everything is so expensive, yeah. and so you know you see something on the runway or you see something trending in a magazine or online, and you think oh well I want that that right. looks really cute I want to get that, and if some site is selling it for ten bucks, yeah. your immediate thing is oh let me just I can just buy it and then I can have it. But there are repercussions from that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I think one thing, so say somebody has an event that they're going to, a gala, something that they, they want something special for. Um, sometimes you can work with local designers, you can work with a store and just have that piece for that night. Um, a lot of the time we only wear like 20% of our closet. We repeat the right. same pieces a lot of the time. Um, people tend to have their own uniform and don't even realize it. Um, like we grew up in school having to wear a uniform. Right, then yeah, you really so you have your, your own. own. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, those like special pieces, I think sometimes they don't really have to be bought. They can be on a trade. Um, if you're gonna see a lot of people, it's um, exposure for that designer, it's exposure for the store. So that trade off can sometimes be really helpful. And Kat, you told me something that you and your friends, you have like a, a group of friends, you guys will do clothing swaps. Yeah. Yeah. Which is such a great idea. Yeah. Um, that's also something that's always just an important thing um, just to build a community with. Um, and it helps when there's um, different sizes and things like that. You can expand to places like Buffalo Exchange or Avalon Exchange. Um, each of those are right in Pittsburgh and you can take your clothes and that's a clothing swap that you actually get paid for. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. So if you're not finding what you need within your friend group and you need a little extra cash, that's a great way to do that as well. And so talk about the piece that you're wearing today. Yeah, so this is from a designer. Her name is Kathy Oliver and she has Kathy Oliver brand and she actually made this piece from dead stock fabric which is fabric that um, wasn't able to be used anymore. And she got it at a local fabric fair run by the Salvation Army. Um, and I kind of talked to her just about like the things that I like to wear. Um, I wear a lot of black, I wear a lot of blazers to go to business meetings and things like that. So we talked to each other um, and she created this piece for today. And what, dead fabric? I've dead never stock. Heard, dead yeah. stock, okay. Yeah. I had never heard that term before. Yeah. Um, so scrap fabric, essentially. Yeah. So uh, to um, make sure that we're reusing the things that are kind of being wasted instead of just throwing it away that there are ways to use them. And so what about renting clothes? Because we see a lot of these subscription services that you can yeah. use, but then I think, well, then the truck has to get it to your house and you have to ship it back. Like there, it feels like there's no right answer. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think a popular site is Rent the Runway. Right. Is something that people can use. And I always say that there are so many local creatives right in your community that have those pieces there. Um, Boheme Shops is one in Pittsburgh that you can go in and see what the local designers have, but also um, there's a lot of vintage stores that usually have those pieces and they're probably sometimes cheaper than renting it, getting the shipping and like doing all that. And it's right here, it's supporting people. And it's right and, yeah. So I know we could talk about what we can do personally, but overall, what has to change when it comes to this? Because I feel like they're pushing out 
these clothing, uh, these clothing lines that are just made very cheaply and with products that we shouldn't be using. Yeah, um, I think uh, staying, staying within um, the the country and working with the people that are here is number one. Um, not outsourcing to people and not paying them the wages that are fairly made for them. That's how we are able to get um, clothes that are so cheap is because the people making the clothes are not being paid um, fairly. So compensating the workers that are being um, paid to make these clothes is not something that we can change. Um, and then just making sure that you're doing your research, really. A lot of people just need to research brands out there because there are so many brands out there that are working on creating accessible, sustainable clothing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kat. Really yeah, interesting stuff.